A broadband access network offers various high-speed services to the end user such as internet, multimedia, telemedicine, and distant learning. Fiber to the Home, or FTTH, is an optical access network architecture that uses optical fibers to replace all or part of the metallic cables to the end user. In this layout, we have simulated a three-user fiber bag grading based OCDMA network at 200 megabits per second. The signal is generated using an incoherent source modulated with NRZ PRBS data using a mock sender modulator. If we take a look inside the white light source, we have set the wavelength to 1550.5 nanometers and power to minus 115 dBm. Uniform FBGs, or fiber bag gratings, are used to implement the modified quadratic congruence codes by spectral amplitude encoding. By double-clicking on the FBG, you will see that we have set the frequency to 1550.1 nanometers, the bandwidth to 0.3 nanometers, and reflectivity at 0 0.998. Depending on your code, you can adjust the bandwidths and frequency for your fiber bag grating. In this example, user 1 and 2 are on, and user 3 is off. In our optical link, we use a power combiner to multiplex the three signals and then propagate it through 10 kilometers of optical fiber. Our optical fiber is a single mode fiber. We have set the length to 10 kilometers and attenuation to 0.2 dB per kilometer. The dispersion parameters and PMD parameters can be set accordingly. The receiver is comprised of two spectral filters and two photo detectors connected in a balanced configuration which perform the decoding with a low pass filter and BER analyzer. Now let's run the simulation. First we can take a look at our signal in the time domain modulated using the mock sender modulator. Next let's take a look at the optical spectrum after spectral amplitude encoding using the two uniform fiber bag gratings. Here's the spectrum for user 2. There is no spectrum for user 3 as it is off. Now let's look at the eye diagram for user 1 eye diagram for user 2, and as expected for user 3. Let's now turn user 3 on by double clicking, going to simulation and checking enabled. Let's run the simulation again. Here's the eye diagram for user 3. Here is another example of an optical access network. The simulation presents a WDM PON architecture implemented by means of two cascaded arrayed waveguide gratings, or AWGs. The multicast section consists of a stack of eight DFB lasers. The optical sources are coupled and modulated using a single modulator, amplified and then split to n number of input ports of the n by n central AWG. The distance between the OLT, or optical line terminal, and the ONU, or optical network unit, is 26 kilometers, and we are using a standard single mode fiber for data transmission. The second AWG connects the ONU units to the OLT, in this example, we have eight optical network units. Each ONU consists of an optical transmitter and receiver. Data from the remote connections are received at the unicast receiver of the optical link terminal. Let's run the simulation. First, let's take a look at the optical spectrum after modulation. Let's move forward to the results. Here we see the eye diagram for the first and last ONU channel. And finally, we can take a look at the eye diagrams for the first and last user in the unicast receiver. Using OptiSystem, you can analyze the performance of optical access networks by varying coding schemes, modulation format, number of users, and propagation length. 